Hi everybody, uh, my name is Travis Anderson, I'm the superintendent here at Brookwood and I have with me a fine collection of individuals who are part of our theater program and uh, we are starting a new uh, tradition here where once about every two weeks we're going to be interviewing students and staff to help highlight the good things that are going on at our school district and uh, we want them to, to share all the good things as well. So. Uh, we call it the Falcon Insider. We'll be posting it on our YouTube channel and uh, on our Facebook page as well. So be looking for, for those segments and to find out all the cool things that are going on here at Brookwood. So, so today, like I said, I'm here with all of these individuals and we'll have them introduce themselves in just a second. But they have a upcoming theater performance um, in early October, which we'll explain to you. And uh, uh, hopefully you can all make it up to that, that production when time comes. So why don't we start with some introductions. We'll start over here with our theater director. I'm Kim Neal Um, Jackie Hernandez. Uh, Sammy Markey. Brandon Tiemann. I'm Cooper Powell. And Katherine McElhoes. Okay, and maybe you tell us what, what grade you are in school. I'm a senior. I'm a freshman. I'm a senior as well. I'm a sophomore. And also a senior. Awesome. So these, these kids work really hard to put the theater productions on, and they've been part of many already. So why don't we just kind of jump in and tell us a little bit about uh, one of you, anyway, can tell us a little bit about what the production, the name of it is, and, and what, what it's about. How about we start with you, Brayden? So, the name of our future upcoming show that we will have on October, and coming in October, will be The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales. It will uh, travel through a bunch of fairly stupid tales that are kind of like the fairy tales you heard when you were little, but a little different. So be prepared for some comedic relief and some messed up storylines. But other than that, uh, it is a very good show for all ages, children up through adults. And if you guys do come, we hope that you enjoy the show. And I, I know you mentioned it's for all ages, and I believe you're going to be putting this performance on during the day at separate times for uh, different grades of mm -hmm. children. Yes. Mr. Knopfsinger, can you tell us kind of what that schedule might look like? We are doing four performances on Friday the 4th before we open the show on October 5th. Um, and we will be doing two performances in the morning for high school and some upper elementary. And then we will be doing a performance in the afternoon for junior high and lower elementary. And the one for lower elementary we will edit down to keep their attention span in check. <laughs> but this show is rapid fire, so I don't think we would lose it. But just in case. Awesome. Well, I know I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I know it's a lot of hard work for all of you to get to the point of putting the production on. So maybe one of you can tell us a little bit about the prep that you go through and the practice and types of things that you do to get this production. Well, um, practices are typically three hours, three hours long. You get there and you, now that it's closer to the opening date, you got to put in your makeup, you got to do your hair, you gotta get into costumes, um, and then usually you run the show at least once, take notes, and maybe if there's time you run it again. Awesome. It's just repetition, repetition until you get it. <laughs> cool. It, it is a lot of work, I'm, I'm sure. Um, and why don't you tell us a little bit about your characters, why don't we start over here with Jackie. I have a lot of them, but the main one that I personally like is Red Hat, mostly because of the costume and just the way that it is. It's all. She's a me, when do I get to? And in the end, we get to see that she doesn't really get what she wants, but it's like, I did this, I did this, did anyone, is anyone gonna compensate me for it? And I really like that. How about you, Sam? Um, my favorite is probably the princess and the pea, because I can just be different than I usually am, and it's really fun to do. I'd say my favorite role is probably the prince in The Princess and the Pea, where I get to again be a prince in another show and just be over the top and funny and just play with the role and have fun with it. And I also get to sing a love song, which is absolutely fun. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Cooper? There's two that I always, I can never really figure out my favorite. One, I'm a frog in The Princess and the Frog, and that's pretty funny because I get to trick her to thinking that I'm actually a prince so I can kiss her, but I'm not actually a prince, I'm just a frog. So the whole time she thought that I was a prince that was a frog, and so that was pretty funny. And then. You ruined the story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. And then the other one was 
I'm Rumble Still Skin, and I just like being that because I can, you know, not be me. I have like this different voice, and I can do all these, act like a little man. So that's pretty fun. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, How about you, Catherine? As compared to everyone else, I only have two roles. I'm Jack, who is the narrator, who is just losing themselves over the fact that their show keeps being messed up in the most ridiculous ways. And then I'm also the tortoise in, like, the tortoise in the hair, but a little different. <laughs> so. Yeah. yeah. One of the things within the show that's fun is that the eight actors in it do over 30 characters oh, wow. with complete costume changes in the 40 minutes that the show takes. So there's just rapid fire stuff happening behind the set and somewhere Elijah John, who's in the show, has less than 15 seconds to change costume and <laughs> all up here. <laughs> awesome. Well, I, I really want to commend you all for uh, your work that you put into getting this production in play and, and allowing it for our, all of our students to come and watch. They're going to love it. And why don't we just tell our viewers one more time when it is in those times and uh, we just hope that we can see everybody there. The school matinees will be on October 4th, but then on October 5th at 7 p.m., which is Saturday, and October 6th at 2 p.m., which is Sunday. T tickets will be available in the door, or people can email me personally or contact the school for further information. Awesome. And this is kind of a special year for our theater program because it will be the last year that our uh, theater productions will be in the so-called classic gym on the traditional stage as that will be transformed into a 485 seat auditorium within the next year or so. So that will be exciting to have all that new equipment and the new staging and all those types of things. So again, thank you guys for all of your work um, and everybody's going to love it. So we hope to see you all there and uh, thanks for watching the Falcon Insider.